गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो फ्रेंड्स इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी स्टडी द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस और थियरम ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस नाउ द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी हैव टू स्टडी और वी हैव टू लर्न द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ some regular shape bodies one of them is given in your book it is moment of inertia of thin uniform disc disc is a regular shape body it is circular one again it must be uniform and thin so moment of inertia of such thin uniform disc we have to obtain here we consider a thin uniform disc of radius capital r it is rotating about the axis passing through its center and perpendicular to its plane to obtain the moment of inertia of this disc about the axis passing through center and perpendicular to its plane we have to consider the disc consists of number of concentric rings one such ring concentric rings there are number of concentric rings in the disc starting from this uh, radius point that is uh, center point o to the rim of the disc that is r from 0 to capital r limit in this length there are number of such concentric ring out of that we consider here one of the ring having radius equal to small r and dr as the thickness of the ring so first of all here we have to consider capital y with the mass of this capital r the radius of the disc the sigma equal to capital y by capital a it is mass per unit area of the disc so these are the first physical quantities we have to consider capital m as mass capital r as radius of the disc and the sigma equal to capital m by capital a it can be also written as capital m divided by pi capital r square where pi r square is area of cross section of the circular disc now to obtain its moment of inertia about the axis passing through center we consider that the disc consist of or disc is made up of number of concentric thin rings one such ring is shown in the figure the ring has radius equal to small r and thickness of the ring is dr if we take that ring to us to a side from the disc and cut it we can find the shape of the ring like this so this will be the shape of the ring so this is 2 pi r which is length and this dx as thickness so da small area of this element ring becomes da equal to 2 pi small r into dx so this will be the area of small disc small ring element ring there are such number of rings situated from center to the rim that is from 0 to capital r along the side of surface of that disc so here for small ring element ring area is equal to 2 pi r into dx using this we can find mass of the element ring so mass of the element ring can be written as dm is equal to the sigma into d so this dm can be written as sigma into 2 pi r into here it is dr so this is mass of the element ring consider here once again these are a very important concept to obtain moment of inertia of the thin uniform disc what we have to study here we have to derive the moment of inertia of thin uniform disc 
Here we consider a disc having mass m radius r. It is rotating about the axis passing through center perpendicular to its plane. Next quantity we have to consider here mass per unit area. It is sigma. It can be represented by rho also. So sigma can be read as mass per unit area. It is m by pi r square. For unit area mass is sigma. Consider this disc consists of number of concentric rings. One such element ring is considered here whose radius is small r and dr is thickness of the ring. If we cut this ring element ring, we will find its shape like this just like a strip having length equal to circumference of that circle it is 2 pi r and thickness as d r here. So, area of this strip that is element ring, area of the element ring becomes dA equal to 2 pi r into dr. Now, mass of that small element ring can be written as dm equal to rho into dA. This is for unit area. So, unit area into area of the ring gives mass of that element ring and it is equal to dm equal to sigma into 2 pi r into dr. Now, we can find moment of inertia first of that element ring and then of total disc. So, moment of inertia of this element ring which is situated a distance small r from the axis it is equal to suppose it is di equal to distance square it is r square into dm. What is dm? dm is sigma into 2 pi r into dr. So, this di becomes r square into dm is sigma into 2 pi r into dr. So, finally we can write this di as small moment of inertia of this element ring r into r r cube therefore it is sigma into 2 pi into r cube into dr. So, this is moment of inertia of small element ring, but such number of rings are situated from center to rim that is starting from 0 to radius. So, we can find total moment of inertia of the disc. What we have obtained here, it is just for a small element ring. There are such number of rings situated from center to the rim of the disc. So, for such number of rings, we have to integrate this relation so that we can write moment of inertia for thin uniform disc. So, total moment of inertia, MI of disc is therefore IC passing through center it is equal to integration of dr equal to integration of this r square into dm we can write limits from 0 to capital R. So, finally we can write Rc equal to this r square dm after solving we get this relation. So, here integration of sigma into 2 pi into r cube into dr limits from 0 to capital R. Here sigma into 2 pi is constant take it outside the integration. So, here ic equal to this sigma into 2 pi into integration of r cube with respect to dr. So, finally we can write here ic equal to this sigma into 2 pi into integration of r cube with respect to dr. Here integration of x to the power n with respect to dx equal to x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. This is the relation. Here instead of x, here is r. Instead of n, here is 3. So, we can write integration of x to the r to the power 3 as this is limits again from 0 to capital R. 
here it is small r to the power 4 divided by 4 limits from 0 to capital R put upper limit and then lower limit so this IC can be written as this moment of inertia can be written as it is sigma into 2 pi divided by 4 take this 4 outside the bracket put upper limit first then lower limit here you can write r to the power 4 minus 0 instead of r write r r to the power 4 minus lower limit 0 to the power 4 0 to the power anything it is 0 so finally you can write this ic equal to this sigma into 2 pi divided by 4 into here it is capital R to the power 4. Put the value of sigma now, but the sigma equal to capital M by pi capital R square. Put this value here. So finally we can write this IC is equal to instead of sigma capital M by pi R square into it is 2 pi R to the power 4 divided by here 4. What get cancelled? Here pi pi get cancelled. 1 R square 1 R square get cancelled. 2 and this 4 can be cancelled here by 2. So finally we write this as IC equal to this capital M capital R square divided by here only 2. So this is expression for moment of inertia of this disc about the axis passing through its center and perpendicular to its plane. So this is expression for moment of inertia of the disc about the axis passing through center and perpendicular to its plane. Also we can find radius of dilation. So I equal to young K square equal to capital M capital R square by 2. This M M get cancel. So what is K? K can be written as square root of here capital R by root 2. So this is expression for radius of gyration of the disk about the axis of rotation which is passing through center and perpendicular to its plane. So this is expression for radius or moment of inertia of thin uniform disc about the axis passing through center and perpendicular to its plane. So moment of inertia of thin uniform disc we first consider the disc and its different physical quantities. Element mass of the disc a ring first Hey, just like examples of Tumara Sangat, Kandachi Sapti to be Pahiniki, the hotel Madaja where we love the Kandachi Sapti. Tikashi is the Aplana just like disc. But the Purna Barivas the Ga, the Chota Chota ringers, the Kandacha, the egg to be Bazula Kandi. Tikandachi Sapti Munje ring Munje Hirash. The Chikai radius a cell Kahi, Tala Tikanis a cell, a Pantos a ring. Integration here, chota element rings of moment of inertia, dI equal to r square into dm. Keep the top on the right answer. Apply the rings on a page, apply the poor disc the page. Asha chota chota ring center person to the chakata peril, burpura. Asha servant chip is one IC burpura integration of dI from 0 to capital R, r square into dm. The chimata pre poor no solo lily, sigma into 2 pi into r cube into dI. Limits from 0 to r, then so do no. Integration of r cubes are in the formula del x to the power n with respect to dx. So x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 into thin i. So that divided by thin i is char. Upper limit, lower limit, that is the same as 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 the
प्रिंसिपल परपेंडिकुलर आने पैरल एक्सि अप्लाय के लिए तो दुसर दोन एक्सि भोवती का तीन दुसरे एक्सि मिलते तुम्हारा एक डायमीटर मिलू शकते दोन टेन्जेंट मिलू शकत मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ डिस्क अबाउट द एक्सि पासिंग थ्रू सेंटर परपेंडिकुलर टू इट्स प्लेन हिंदी तुम्हारा तुम्हारे पुस्तक दिल्ली पार्ट मन घिंग तुम्हें काटू शकता रिंग सा रिंग है एक छोटा सा इलिमेंट थीन रिंग छोटा सा इलिमेंट डीएम अंतर कैपिटल आर अंतर आर अंतर तो फिक्स है इध एक्सि पास मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिय टोटल रिंग इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी आई सी करेशन ऑफ डी एम टोटल मास आई सी कैन बी रिटर्न एज कैपिटल आर स्क्वेर इन टू एम और आई सी बरबर इंटू कैपिटल एम इंटू कैपिटल आर स्क्वेर दिस इज फॉर रिंग फॉर थीन यूनिफॉर्म रिंग मुंट ऑफ इनर्शिय थोड़क दाखू शो आता हे दोन ही अपन अप्लाय करू शो थियरम कि प्रिंसिपल परपेंडिकुलर एंड पैरल एक्सिस तो सेपरेट पाए तो अपन नर चाहिए